What up, y'all? It's your boy Chance. I know it's early, but um, I've been working real hard on some shit. Um, I couldn't sleep at all. Legit, like I was not able to sleep. Um, I do want to talk about something though, and this is why most mainstream record labels hate mine and my brother Ian, and you know, mine, my brother Ian, and all my brothers that I've worked with over the years, record label Bloodshot Records. And this is something also, you know, calling out to all music artists who are getting, you know, played. This is something that the mainstream wants them to follow. That's bullshit. And now uh, one of the main reasons why mainstream labels hate Bloodshot Records is because we don't follow that technical bullshit. Okay? And this is something that I don't get myself, is why a lot of these mainstream labels follow this technical, you know, LLC, BMI bullshit. At the end of the day, it should never be about the technical shit. It should be about making the music. Which is why every record, every record label in the world gets started. And a lot of them lose sight of that. At the end of the day, it's not about, you know, the legal terms. It's not about, you know like the technical terms or this or that. At the end of the day, it's about the music. That's what it's about for Bloodshot Records. And that's why we started Bloodshot Records is to give those that don't have a voice, a voice. To give those artists that aren't getting anywhere because they're always having to pay for shit. They're always having to know technical terms. We're giving those people a chance. Okay. Um... My brother, Ian, who is also the co-owner of Bloodshot Records, um, found this dude named, and we sat down and talked to him. The dude's an amazing artist. The dude can fucking rip a bar up like it's nothing. So we're like, all right, you know, let's bring him on. And Ian went to bed because he actually has school tomorrow, not today, but tomorrow. And, you know, I was talking to this dude, and he's really good, and we were talking and shit, and he's like, you know, do you know what a BMI is, an LLC? And I'm like, no, I don't. Like, I've heard the terms, but I don't really know what they mean. Like, I've heard them thrown around, just never really knew, you know, the exact terms. But this dude's sitting there saying that, you know, oh, I can't work with you guys because you don't know what this or this is, dude. It's not about the technical terms. Whatever you learned from these higher-ups, fuck all of that. Forget that. None of that shit matters. At the end of the day, none of those technical terms matter at all. What matters is the music that you put out, the message that you have to send for people. The message that you put out to people and your music, at the end of the day, ultimately, that's what matters. So, Devin, I hope you're watching this, man. I'm telling you from first-hand experience. Because I've been doing music since 2010, longer than most artists these days have been alive. And I can tell you firsthand, it's not about the technical terms, dude. It's really not. It's about the music at the end of the day, and that's what it should always be about. It should never be about... You know, technical terms, what you can legally do or not do. At the end of the day, it's about the music. It's about putting a good message out for your music. It's about helping people through your music at the end of the day. So to any mainstream label out there that wants to argue the facts, I say this to you. Go fuck yourself. Because at the end of the day... All you guys are, are a bunch of money-hungry fucking pigs with no respect and no remorse or no morals. You guys just want to fuck everybody over. That's all you want is to fuck everyone over and make more money. Because that's all you want to do. 
you'd rather fuck over artists rather than sit there and help them out like myself and all the members of Bloodshot Records try to do. We help our artists out. We help them make real money their way. See, what you guys don't realize, what you mainstream fuckers don't realize is the reason why I refuse to sign to any mainstream major label, even when I do get offers, is because I see right through the bullshit. You guys want to own me. You want to own my music. Well, you know what? Nobody owns me. Nobody owns my music. Nobody owns the Bloodshot Records. We all own a piece of it. We are all a family. Okay, we started this from nothing. Literally, seven months ago, it was an idea. Now look at us. We're making hits every fucking day and making money doing what we love to do. It might not be that much right now, but give it a couple years, motherfuckers. That shit will build up. Right now, we've got 87 cents in streams alone over the last seven months. And that's just on fucking Spotify alone. That's not counting SoundCloud or anything like that. Like I said, it might not be much now, but just wait. I guarantee you Shot Records is going to be the first fucking record label to make it from nothing. Because let me tell you something, Bloodshot Records started an idea seven months ago. Just an idea between me and Ian. We were just sitting down talking, had an idea. Didn't really take it seriously until about seven months ago. And every day we're making hits. Every day we're making new artists that really enjoy what they do. We help artists become successful. Let me tell you something. The end goal of Bloodshot Records isn't to make or be, like it's not to make millions and millions of dollars it's not to be for you know chris brown fucking elvis presley type famous granted that will come with the territory but at the end of the day it's not about that at the end of the day it's about making good music and helping artists self-sufficient and self-made it's about helping artists become independent to where they can make their own money doing what they love to do in music. And at the end of the day, that's what it should have always been about from the very beginning is helping artists out that don't have a chance, helping others out that need it. Because there's a lot of artists out there that need a label. And I guarantee you, we're going to hunt every single one of them down and we're going to bring them on board and work with them every day. Because right now we have one of the best rosters in the underground. Ask anybody. We got artists like myself, Young Fox, Bratley, B-Man, C. West, and the legend, the motherfucking Akron legend possessed one. So we got some of the biggest names in the fucking underground on the label and some of the biggest names in the underground rooting for our label and supporting our label like Buckshot. And if y'all don't know who Buckshot is, he actually works guys like Boondocks, um, ICP, DJ Clay, um, Tech Nine, Hobson. He works with a lot of them. The dude's an amazing artist. I've listened to a lot of his stuff. And if you guys are from the Underground Avengers era, you guys know that Shot is from the under. He's one of the original members of Underground Avengers. I mean, we got support even from them. And how to be honest with you, we got support from the AKA Warriors Cup. And if you guys don't know who that is, they are a martial arts brand. They set up competitions for martial artists all around the world. We got support from them. We got support from Jason David Frank, who, like I said, is a major actor who I actually wound up becoming really good friends with through my artwork. So shout out to Jason. 
fucking love your shit, dude. Can't wait to see the new. I can't I actually can't wait to read the new Power Rangers comics. If you guys don't know, the new um, Power Rangers comic is coming soon. He did confirm it. So if you haven't checked out the trailer yet, do it. It's up on his fan page. Go check it out. But we've gotten support. We've gotten support from major names and companies because of what we do. Because at the end of the day, it's not about the technical terms. It's not about this. It's not about that. At the end of the day, it's about making good music and helping people and making a name for ourselves and showing you mainstream fuckers that you can make something from nothing. Which is exactly what we've been doing for the last seven to eight months. And look what happened. Look where we're at. We might not be up over a thousand, a hundred thousand subs, subscribers strong. But every day we're growing. We're currently up to 90 subs. We're almost at a hundred. And that's within a span of like literally seven months. So to any artist out there that is looking for a good label, hit myself up, hit up Ian Ducksworth, hit up Young, aka Aiden Schroeder, um, hit up anybody from Bloodshot Records, you know, we'll definitely help you out. And let me tell you something, these are, this is what I'm about to read off to you guys is pure fact. I'm about to read off to you guys the pure facts of Bloodshot Records. This is how many views, you know, we have gotten over time. Like I said, right now we're currently at 90 subs. We're almost to 100. Right now, currently, all right, we joined December 18th of last year. We currently have 3,648 views and 90 subscribers. So what does that tell you? We've been busting our ass every day on our music. Whether it be a collaboration, whether it be, you know, solo work, whether it be an album, an EP, whatever. It don't matter. At the end of the day, it's about the music. And that's what it should always be about. It should never be about these technical, you know, bullshit terms that nobody knows even really gets anyway. I guarantee you, you can ask that question. Do you know what an LLC is? Do you know what a BMI is? I guarantee you 90% of your artists that are out there aren't going to know what that is. Why? Because all they know how to do is record and make hits. Proven fact. You ask any artist what an LLC is, they'll look at you like you're fucking crazy. Because for them, it's not about these technical terms. It's about making music and making a living doing what they love to do. And that's what it should always be about at the end of the day. It should never be about these technical bullshit terms that nobody even pays attention to. So in the famous words of my good friend, David Gonzalez, a.k.a. Cryptic Wisdom, fuck branding, make music. And in the famous words of the homie Aiden, a.k.a. Young Fox, fucking kill the Illuminati, kill the mainstream. Because you know what? The underground is where it's at. Fuck the mainstream bullshit rappers that are out there. Because half of them ain't even that good. Yes, there's a few that I screw with and I'll listen to. Not going to lie. You know, I listen to Mike Shinoda. I listen to Linkin Park. You know, I listened to Triple X Tentacion when he was alive. You know, I listened to a few mainstream rappers that, you know, I grew up on and, you know, came to enjoy over the years. 
But for as for the rest of these bullshit rappers that talk about drugs, gangs, and drive-by, like, really? Like, dude, I could put together a fucking song in less than five minutes that sounds 100 times better than that shit. By far, and I've done it multiple times. So for any artist out there that is getting fooled by these guys, if you get a record deal offer for these guys and they ask you a series of questions like, do you know what an LLC is? Do you know what a BMI is? Don't even work with them. Because chances are you're going to get fucked over. In the long run, making music your way is what it should be about. Not this mainstream, you know, sign to my label, we'll do this, we'll do that, blah, 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 blah. You know, we'll make you promises that we're never going to keep. You're never going to see. And that's the thing. A lot of you artists that are signing on to these major labels, what y'all don't get is that you're signing away not only all your money, but your rights, your life. These labels basically own you once you sign that contract. And that's what's wrong with a lot of these labels. They try to own everybody. They try to own everything. Because let me tell you something. Other than actors, like, you know, I do know a lot of actors. Well, not a lot of actors, but, you know, I know a couple actors that are in the movie business. All their stuff, they own. Why? Because they earned it. They bought it. But as for the music industry, all these fucking cars and this and that. And this is a message for all you mainstream rappers so y'all can open up your fucking eyes. And to any mainstream artist or music producer or band in general. All these fancy cars that you guys own, you don't own that. You don't own that mansion. You want to know who owns that? These fucking reps. They own it. How? Because they own you. They own your soul. And when they own your soul and they own you, they own everything about you. They own your identity, your name, your music, your cars, your house. They own all of that. You don't own any of that. Yeah, you can go out and buy the most expensive shoes. But the minute you make a shitty hit that nobody likes, all that's gone like that. Guaranteed. And that's why I don't fuck with mainstream labels. Because I'm not about to be owned by anyone or anything. Because like I said, nobody owns me. Nobody owns my music. Nobody owns what I do. I'm going to buy something, I'm going to buy it my way. I'm going to fucking earn the money long and hard and fucking do it. Like right now, I'm saving up for a couple systems, which is probably going to be roughly around one grand. Yeah, it might take a while, but you know what? I'm busting my ass every damn day doing it. Just like I'm working hard, I'm bringing back um, retro gaming, my retro gaming channel on YouTube. I'm working really in that back. I've got the intro done. Um, I got my next video already set up and ready to go. I just have, to, well, I got the idea done. I just got to get the stuff to do it because there's a certain thing I want to do on there that I'm not able to do yet that I'm working on doing. And so to any artist out there that wants a true good label that will not fuck you over, hit up Bloodshot Records. If you don't know how to get in contact with us, hit us up on YouTube. Um, we literally, our, our logo is literally a record, like a, you know, a vinyl record with an eyeball in the middle. It says bloodshot on top. 
out records at the bottom. Going this way and that way. It's the double rocker. We're like literally like the first one on the thing, I believe. Yeah, we're literally the top. Right now, we are currently at the top of the list going down. We literally are the very first one on the top of the list. You guys can find us, contact us that way. If you guys can't get all of us on here. Well, that being said, y'all, I'm going to hop off here. I'm actually about to crash out, kick it with some friends on some Osaluda racing. You know, kick it with some homies on there. You know, catch a few drifts, maybe get a few tandems in, relax, chill. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, like I said, starting tomorrow, you can expect a lot more gaming videos coming out from Retro Gamer and Retro Gaming in general, because I am bringing that back. But with that being said, Love you guys. Y'all are awesome. And I hope this was an eye-opener for all you artists out there. Because like I said, at the end of the day, all those technical terms don't mean a goddamn thing at all whatsoever. At the end of the day, what matters is your music. Your music is number one. Making a good message and whatnot through your music or doing whatever you want to do with your music Regardless of whether it's good, but at the end of the day, your music is number one, not these technical terms. Don't let these labels and people like that fool you. Just walk away from them and be like, nah, dude, screw you. Not working with you, not signing to your label. You know, do what you have to do to avoid these guys because they want to control you. But with that being said, I'm out of here. Peace.